Hey, Venom Cannon 13, uh, an update video on my uh, DDM4 V5. Uh, I've done some mods to it, uh, so I'll just go over those. Uh, and then this device I built, <clears throat> I mean, device I attached to the workbench I built so I could work on it. Uh, and device I put in there so that it will um, swivel so I could work on it this way. I swiveled around and work on it this way. So this is what we've done to the uh, AR-15. So a safety check, no magazine or open and empty. Um, first thing I, one of the things I did was I uh, took the original uh, collar off here and I attached a single point swing attach a single point sling attachment. Uh, and then this is what I used here, the Black Hawk uh, Storm Sling. That's a one point sling or single point sling. Uh, and that's here. So this attaches here. This quick release. It's supposed to be rated at 300 pounds. So then that'll put this over and of course this will hang right here for the right hand shooter. So you have access here. <clears throat> and if you need to release it quickly, it just comes off. So that's my uh, Black Hawk single point sling. Uh, the other thing I got for it was uh, I had a uh, Aimpoint Pro on it, but I wanted to do some longer range shooting than really the Aim Pro was designed for. Um, so instead, I took that off and I've now put on from Nikon the M223 scope. And this one is the 312 by 42. Uh, and this one's a Nikoplex. A reticle, so it does not have a, um, the bullet drop. It's standard uh, Nikoplex reticle, and in order to attach that, and you also need uh, this mount here, which is sold separately, and that is this here. So that's custom made to fit their scope, of course. So that just mounts right to your rail. Um, so I put that on there. I haven't had a chance to sight it in yet. Uh, I took it to the range, but I was having problems still with my Savage, as I talked about it on another video, and then I ran out of time that I had for that day. So I have to take this back out and sight it in. But uh, it is a pretty nice scope. There's the 3 by 12 here. There's 3 all the way up to 12 magnification. Adjustable there. Uh, the cool thing about it is this turret on the top, uh, you can sight it in, once you sight it in for 100 yards, you can swing this around and then lock it down at a 100 yard mark. So wherever you happen to be that's sighted in for 100 yards, you just pop it up, swing it to the 100 mark, and then you're locked into the 100 yards. So when you, if you have to go to 200 yards, you don't have to change anything, you just, uh, with your sighting, you just dial it up to 200 yards and then you can dial it to 300 yards and it goes all the way out to 600 yards uh, and your aim point will be automatically adjusted by the scope. So that's really pretty cool. Of course, I've yet to test it, but we'll see how that works. And then the windage is on this side here. And that's a one quarter inch per hundred yards. And then there's a, um, a fine focus on the side here. So um, really anxious to uh, get out and sight that in and test out the scope and see how it works. So again, that's the Nike, I mean Nikon M223 scope. And the uh, Nikon M223 scope. Uh, with the um, Nikon M223 XR scope mount and it um, has a built-in 20 minute of angle slope so it does that's kind of hard to see but it, it does have a slope automatically built into it which is supposed to I believe it's supposed to help with the longer range shooting uh, and there's what it looks like before you mount the scope so we put that on and then the other things I've added are the Detroit folding sights, the folding back, uh, backup iron sights. Um, in the front I have a Tritium uh, M4 style sight. 
and then you can see the tritium dot which is right there above my finger that little white dot and then in the rear I got the dioptic and again that has tritium in it too so these are folding night sights and they're from Troy Industries and then the last thing I did was I took off the original uh, suppressor and I put on this uh, Troy Medieval uh, flash suppressor uh, again with the logo ending up uh, right on the top is the way it's supposed to end up and of course I need a device for that I also had to buy a tool which attaches uh, to the torque wrench um, so I could get that on and it's torqued between uh, 20 and 30 and uh, I can show you that real quick let me grab the wrench here's the torque wrench and the way that fits onto the tool Should have this open ahead of time. Okay, so the way that's going to fit on the tool is with the Tapco tool. This comes with uh, most of the things you need uh, for what you're going to do, and then this one is labeled muzzle device. So this is designed to fit right on there like that. So of course you use this to take the old one off, and then to put the new one on. Uh, it comes with a square hole which is a half inch so you, you need a half inch uh, ratchet head uh, on your torque wrench and then you're setting your uh, torque here at the bottom between 20 and 30 you start at 20 and then you crank it until you get the uh, logo facing upwards between 20 and 30 on your torque wrench and then the way that goes on is it fits right in there like that so then you're basically using it in this fashion. Like that. So then you're torquing it uh, like this up to uh, you want to get the logo of the uh, flash suppressor facing uh, straight up and down and you want to be torqued between 20 and 30. So that's basically how that works. So we did that. So those are the modifications we've done on the Daniel Defense M4 V5 so that's the uh, <clears throat> update we have I uh, still have to go out and shoot it but uh, we li I like the way this looks now and um, this will be better for the long range shooting than when it had the aim, po had the, uh, aim point pro on it so until next time Venom Cannon 13 and our Daniel Defense M4V5, Troy Sights, Nikon Scope, Troy Flash Suppressor, Blackhawk Single Point Sling. Have a good day.